Hello everyone, this is Stunt to Collect here with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Retro Wave, the Marvel's thing. So let's go over the packaging. So first we got the retro card here in the big box plastic thing here, and then in the background we get the uh, Fantastic Four retro sign from the animated series. You get all the Fantastic Four with their uh, flying jet thing there, and then we got the thing here. We get a nice picture of the thing, Marvel's thing. Nothing on the side, top, or bottom. Here is the back here with the Fantastic Four logo here. Marvel's Marvel logo on the corner there. Here is a picture of the thing again. Here's a description of the thing. And then here is showing you that you can swap heads with them. And then here's all the other figures in the wave. It comes with Mr. Fantastic, which we already did. We're working on the thing right now. There's um, Invisible Woman. We already did Human Torch. There's Psycho Man and High Evolutionary. And then here is the barcode for whoever wants that. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is the retro thing out of the package. So let's go over the accessories. So first we get uh pair of fisted hands here for one for each arm so yeah we get the nice orange rock look for it i wish they give it a little bit more depth like painting a little bit orange uh, a little bit of a darker orange and the cracks there but oh well and i think these are brand new i don't think they're the same i uh, fists from the uh this uh super scroll build a figure i don't think so i have the super scroll build a figure thing but I don't have the other one from the Walmart exclusive. I meant Walgreens exclusive, but yeah, I don't think these are the same exact hands, Al. I don't think. I think these are brand new. So yeah, we get fisted hands here. And then here's another head sculpt here where you see the thing's teeth in there, grinning. And you get the frown there. You get a little bit of a lighter orange or yellow going on, and then it gets darker around the other parts around it. You get the blue eyes on there. You get a little nose in there. Uh, like I said, I wish they would paint the, cre uh, like the cracks of the rocks like a little bit of a darker orange or something like that maybe but yeah it looks pretty cool but besides that that's all we got for accessories so here is the thing up close here's his head sculpt so this one is where he doesn't have any teeth like in the original comics he didn't really have any teeth so they were like saying uh when they were announcing this guy that you could switch him between them however way you want because some people were complaining about the one with the teeth or one without teeth so they just kind of gave us both uh so for that's the um head sculpt there yeah you get a little bit of nose there you get a lighter orange on top of his head there but yeah and you get the frown and then here you get a little bit of a lighter orange around the chest shoulders and everywhere else you get some nice rock texturing in there i wish you would paint the cracks like i said though uh, same thing in the back. There's a little bit of lighter orange on the back there. Uh, I think on camera you could see a little bit better. In person it's kind of hard to see. Um, and then here you got the like a little bit of a wider open hand here. I don't think I think these are brand new too actually. But yeah, and you get the blue shorts there with the white uh, stripe there for the trim. And you get the legs here. They're double jointed, still pinned though. And these are single jointed el el elbows there. And then you get a little bit of a lighter orange on the top of the feet there. And then it gets darker around the edges or as it goes out farther away from the that lighter spot. And then in the back there you get the orange legs with the rocky look. I like the texture on this figure. Like I said, it would be cooler if they just paint the rocks a little bit of darker orange like in the cracks. But besides that, let's go over the articulation. It says head has a disc ball joint that only goes down that far. Goes up that far. Three, I mean... Uh, looks left and right, a little head pivoting in there, shoulders move out that far, 360 rotation here, uh, single jointed elbows, if I can, there we go, without breaking it, there we go, you get a little swivel in there, wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation there, uh, he has a ball joint at the diaphragm, so he can go forward that much, backwards not a whole lot you can get some side to side motion a little bit a little bit of twisting he also has a waist swivel so you don't have to twist around the diaphragm you could just do 360 rotation there legs kick out that far forward that far backwards none thigh cut double in knees like i said and then ankles can hinge down that far up, up that far and a nice ankle pivot 
And then here's the rest of the thing with the other head sculpt there. It looks pretty good there. But uh, yeah, that's all I really got for this figure. I, mean, I think it's a really cool figure. Uh, like I said, paint more darker, I mean, a darker orange in the cracks, then it would be like perfect. But besides that, I think it's a really cool figure. Um, I mean, it has quite a bit of detailing, like sculpt wise. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really cool figure. It's a nice uh, piece for your collection if you're planning on doing Fantastic Four. If you're planning on doing Fantastic Four collection, I think this one's the one for you. Um, but yeah, I, I really like the sculpting and everything. I think the articulation is decent for how big the figure is, so you can't really complain about the articulation for it or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, awesome figure. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. If you guys want to uh, want to check out my link tree in my description to help support me on my TikTok, Twitch, or Instagram, or Twitter, go ahead and check that out. But besides that, thanks for watching.